So hi everyone and welcome to this video on the Delta method and a couple of examples using the Delta method. So this is one crucial topic and uh, sort of our overall discussion on asymptotic analysis. And uh, this is quite crucial uh, in statistics in that oftentimes uh, the assumptions that we make are just that n approaches infinity. And this is a crucial part of this asymptotic theory in statistics. So uh, the Delta method is essentially uh, based on what we know from this particular slide. Suppose that we have a sequence of random variables, x, n. Uh, so that's like uh, um, x1, uh, x2, going until xn. And we know that um, this uh, expression, the square root of n uh, times xn minus mu, approaches or converges in distribution to a normal with a mean of 0 and a variance sigma squared. And let some g be a differentiable but non-constant function, then it must be that the square root of g of x of n, a part of our sequence, minus g of mu also converges in distribution. But uh, this one to a normal, to a normal with mean zero and variance um, uh, g prime of mu squared, which is the first order derivative squared times sigma squared. Okay, so uh, it's quite a mouthful, at least in terms of terminology, but I think it's best to understand this particular method by just going through examples. So suppose we were given that uh, square root of n uh, times uh, x bar minus mu over sigma converges in distribution to n0, 1. So this is like basic central limit theorem. And we are asked, okay, what is the asymptotic limit of square root of n times x bar squared minus mu squared? So uh, we can use the delta method. So by the delta method, okay, so by the delta method, okay, so we let something be g mu, right? And g mu is essentially always what you subtract it with. So let g mu be equal to mu squared. Right, let that be equal to mu squared. And uh, what we're gonna get, okay, if that's equal to mu squared, is that um, uh, if we take the derivative of this, g prime of mu, right, that's going to be equal to uh, two, right? It's gonna be equal to two mu, right? So we have here uh, two mu, right? And then uh, if we apply the formula of the delta method, well, we know that the square root of uh, n times x bar n squared minus mu squared that approaches or converges in distribution to some normal with mean zero and variance, okay, sigma squared times two times this one, which is, uh, I'm sorry, th this one, the second order, the first order derivative squared. So two mu squared. So this entire term converges in distribution to zero for sigma squared mu squared, right? And that's what we found. And that's the answer. That's the asymptotic limit of this particular expression here. Uh, on notation wise, we can also write it as an approximate distribution. So we can also write it as um, approximately normal zero with variance sigma squared, four sigma squared, oh, oops, mu squared, right? So that's the same, that's the answer. So next one, so let's have another example. Um, what is the asymptotic limit of the square root of n times one over x bar n squared minus one over mu squared, right? So this one is a bit, uh, I guess, more uh, trickier, but essentially we apply the same thing. So by the delta method, by the delta method, so let um, g of mu be equal to one over mu squared right? And that's just equal to mu raised to negative two, meaning it implies that g prime of mu is equal to negative two mu negative three, right? And uh, just simplifying it, that's negative two over mu cubed. 
So in, in this case, let's just assume, okay, uh, let uh, mu not equal to zero, such that the denominator would not be equal to zero and that the derivative would not be equal to zero. But in another video, we'll explore a case wherein we allow it to be zero and we approximate the second order Taylor. That's for another video. So assume that that's the case for now. So we know that the square root of n times one over x bar n squared minus one over mu squared converges in distribution to a normal with a mean of zero times sigma squared times this derivative minus two over mu cube squared, right? Or it converges in distribution to n zero. We have here, it's gonna be four sigma squared over mu raised to six, okay? So that's what we have there. But recall, if you look at the given for this particular problem, we said that the sequence draws were from a normal with a mean of mu and a variance of one. So the variance is equal to one. So this term here, that's equal to one. So we have here, it converges in distribution to a normal zero, four over mu raised to six. So square root of n times one over x bar n squared minus one over mu squared is or has an asymptotic limit equal to this expression here, or as before, we can write it as an approximate, right? Minus one over mu squared approximately follows a normal zero, four over mu raised to six. And that's a video discussing the Delta method. I hope you enjoyed and I'll see you in the next video. Thank you very much.